Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea, and all you foreigners out there who would like to know the truth about America. Welcome to another edition of Propaganda Buses, today being April 16th in the year of our Lord, 2008 AD. Hi! Today we're going to discuss an article which appeared on the front page of a newspaper in Seattle, Washington, in the Pacific Northwest of these here United States, and that newspaper is the uh, Seattle Post Intelligence. This article has to do with the Dalai Lama being in an arena in Seattle. Now, I'm not going to discuss Tibet, I'm not going to discuss China, I'm not going to discuss Buddhism, I'm not going to discuss uh, whatever's going on in Asia. What I'm discussing here is further proof of the duplicity of liberalism in America as well as that America liberals, liberalism is a mental disorder. The liberals in America for years have been telling us that the, separate, the concept of separation of church and state is in our constitution as hallucinated by some federal judges in the 1930s. You cannot find that term separation of church of church and state in our constitution. That has to do with a letter that Thomas Jefferson wrote some years ago but I cover that in another video. But the uh, liberals in this public schools prohibit anyone from carrying a Bible into school from wearing a cross or a crucifix around your neck, for mentioning Jesus in any of your papers, you can't read the Bible, you can't do anything religious or related to Christianity with the public schools. So now the Dalai Lama is in an, is in an arena in Seattle and 14,000, over 14,000 school children were given the time off to go on a field trip into this arena to meet with the Dalai Lama who is what? A religious leader. You see what I've been trying to tell you? Here in this country, the political left just adores Buddhism because they see it as a replacement for Christianity. We've had schools in Illinois where they've taken the children on field trips to mosques, but they would never take one to a cathedral or a synagogue. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about Muslims. What I'm just asking for is consistency, and we don't have that here when it comes to Christianity. So, to those bumps in the, in the liberal news media, or in the academia, once again, you have proven for, proven for me that liberalism is a mental disorder. Yeah! <laughs> All right, folks. God bless. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Hello.